ladies and gentlemen, with a huge handicap match. And given the odds here, I suspect this one will be quick and not so painless. Bulldog! Delivered with force. I always loved a good handicap match growing up, especially when you'd see Andre the Giant go up against two or three jabronis. Despite being outmanned, you always knew Andre would walk away with the win. Big clothesline. Andre the Giant really was the king of the handicap match, as Corey was saying earlier. He also made quite a name for himself competing in battle royals, as you would suspect, seeing as he's well over 500 pounds. I think my favorite Andre the Giant battle royal moment came at WrestleMania 2 when he last eliminated both members of the Hart Foundation to walk away with the win. There was no getting him over the top. Oh, what a roundhouse kick! I'm not sure how much he has left. Chris Jericho fading a bit. This very well may be too much for him to handle. Handicap matches are all about the odds, Cole, and sometimes understanding and navigating those odds correctly, as fair or unfair as they may seem, can make all the difference in the world. Well, I hate to sound so negative, but his chances of winning this match look incredibly oh, bleak right now. Beautiful technique. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. When this guy's on, look out. Nailed it. What a strike. Oh, nasty impact. Back elbow. Jeez, you see that? Chris Jericho's middle name might as well be Showboat. Jericho struggling a bit. I don't like you, but I don't like his chances of survival here in this handicap match. He may very well find himself on the wrong end of this decision if he doesn't come up with something quickly. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point, but that can obviously all change here. Sharp knee. Y2J is starting to fade. At this point, you have to ask how much more he has to give here in this handicap match. This is where we find out who the better man is. And at this point, it could very well be either one of these guys. That's how close this thing is. Oh, boy, he is oh. rolling. Oh, it's over. Clearly not afraid to go to the well again. There are certain superstars who are synonymous with handicap matches. Of course, there's Andre the Giant and more recently, Braun Strowman. 
But I don't think I've ever seen anybody in more handicap matches than Big Show, guys. Believe it or not, guys, despite being outnumbered, I think this superstar is going to surprise you here tonight. I could agree with you more about what you were saying earlier, Michael. It seems like Big Show has been in dozens, if not hundreds, of handicap matches. Believe it or not, I'd say he won the majority of them. Yeah, but I can tell you one he didn't win. I'm out on SmackDown. Trouble in paradise from out of one midair. What? That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Wow, that one packed even more punch than the last one. Going for both. Oh, what impact. That's a good way to find yourself on the list of Jericho. some pretty lopsided handicap matches over the years. And one that stands out in my mind, well, it might just be the 2010 encounter that... Looking for the exclamation point! This might be it! Oh, my. That's a good way to find yourself on the list of Jericho. on the list of Jericho. That six-on-one match Byron brought up earlier actually could have even been more lopsided. If you remember, it was originally supposed to be seven-on-one, but John Cena was able to take Darren Young out of the equation when he injured him the week prior. Well, you know what? He should have kept taking Nexus members out because even without Darren Young, the Nexus was able to accomplish their goal that night, defeat John Cena. Remember when Shane McMahon competed against the supposed right across the back of the neck? So impressive. And it gets more and more impressive each time we see it. Got him caught. Shane McMahon's handicap match you were mentioning earlier very well, Byron, and those imposters posing as Hawk and Animal, the Legion of Doom, were none other than Pat Patterson and Gerald Briscoe. Or should I call them the Stooges? No, you shouldn't call them the Stooges. Have a little respect, Cole. We're talking about two Hall of Famers here. Harsh impact. Face. Jumping face oh. buster. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He woozy after that impact. This one is over. Jericho strutting around like a proud in-house rooster. He's making a statement here with this attack. Whoa, Jericho. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Batista! What a spear from the animal. Great move by him right there. Yeah, let's see that one again. That'll mess up the back of your neck. That's a good way to find yourself on the list of Jericho. This night could be over for Chris Jericho. Uh-oh. Oh, this is gonna be nasty. This is gonna be bad. What is this? That's a good way to find yourself on the list of Jericho. Beautiful technique. Y2J being outclassed right now. This might just be the end of the road for him here in this handicap match. He's in big trouble here. I don't think I remember ever seeing him this much off his game. Oh, impactful slam! You gotta believe this one's over!
A lot can go wrong in a match like this, guys. In fact, I'll be surprised if we don't see a major injury occur here tonight. Right to the back of the neck. That's a good way to find yourself on the list of Jericho. Uh-oh. Oh, this is gonna be nasty. This is gonna be bad. Watch the impact. It's over. It's over. Can you believe it? It's all over. The advantage is never where you think it is in handicap matches. What an incredible show those superstars put on for us. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel because he was on.